Hello there, it's Josh Willis again, and uh, we're kind of doing a continuation of these podcasts, and I want to share with you uh, some more from the Word about what time it is. You know, the Bible said, the night is far spent, the day is at hand, our salvation is nearer than when we believed. And so that was written 2,000 years ago. Just think of that. There was a warning going out then. And the, the, the underlying uh, message of this or the continuum is found in, in Ezekiel 22, 1 Kings 22, about the shape that the prophets were in in Israel and the priests and the princes. I think we're in the same condition. The way the, you know, we're, we're living in the apostasy, the falling away. What's that mean? We're losing more people than we're gaining. You know, there's 15%, I think, less churches today than there were before COVID. Just imagine one church, one, one uh, plague can come through and wipe out. I mean, we, we were, how did that happen? We were locked out, shut down, and, and, and pony kegs and drugstores were more important or essential than the church. This, this is a pitiful time. And so let me, let me give you a couple scriptures that may help you understand we're in the last days. We're in the last of the last days. In uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, it says, Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. That's talking about uh, the apostasy that's spoken of. Instead of gaining, uh, we're losing we're, we got people falling away. And so it doesn't mean that God can't save a nation or change everything. I'm talking about in general, you're safer being ready than not. You need to visit the oil uh, station, the, ga- the, oil, the fuel, spiritual fuel station often, and keep your lamp trimmed and be ready. There's a famous general, uh, MacArthur, in the Philippines, the Japanese drove him out of Corregidor and uh, his, his troops. And when he left that, that group of Filipinos there, he said these words, I shall return. And, of course, he did as they moved back in uh, to uh, conquer Japan, the Philippines and that. He did return. Well, the Bible says in uh, John chapter 14, verse 1, what I quoted in the last uh, podcast, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, many houses, many uh, everything you need. If we're not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Heaven's a prepared place, and if I go and prepare a place, I will come again. What? I will come again. Now, that ain't MacArthur. Jesus Christ said that. And we know that the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first, and then we will show our lives and remain to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, I told uh, uh, Pastor Mark earlier that uh, I'm going to get me some hats made up that say, uh, I, w- I want to make the rapture great again. What is that? That it's not, it hasn't escaped us. It hasn't gone away because we're learning more. It's still loaded. The same day Lot went out, it rained fire and brimstone. So pay attention to what's going on around you, to the wars, rumors of wars, pestilence, famine, earthquakes, all that thing's been going on for a long time. But the rot, the pure rot of the, the government of the most powerful nation on earth that's happening right in front of your eyes, they're full of liars and thieves. And they, what they do not know difference. And so I, I encourage you to be therefore ready. Now that you think not, he's going to appear. So let me jump back to my scripture here. Uh, that they will depart from the faith, uh, giving heed to seduce, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, listening to the wrong voices. That's what will be going on in the latter days, these days. It says, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, that means they're, they, they can't be convicted the way they should. They, they believe so many lies that they're delusional, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, trying to go back to the law, 
and leaving the blood of Jesus. Scripture also says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, I charge you therefore uh, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, re exhort with all long suffering and doctrine for the time will come. This is why I need a little a tape that we can play. The time will come, and, and the time is coming when they will not endure sound doctrine. People, you know, the, the old prophet, that might have been Isaiah, they, 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 they said about him that you have become like one that sings a pleasant song. People are not listening. They're not paying attention. They go into churches to get their three points in the poem, and they feel better touch, and uh, and they're out of there until the next time they go. You have an assignment. You're not just in a church house. You're in the kingdom of Almighty God. You're a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Your name is written down in heaven. You are destined to reign with God on earth. Now you say, well, how can that be? I'm just, I, I never finished school. Don't matter. If God could make seed for Abraham out of rocks, he, he can use mud for brains. It don't make no difference if you'll surrender to him and do it with all your heart. And so the time will come when they, they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they shall heap teachers having itching ears. And I would throw in false prophets and people that don't understand what they're doing to people by telling them half truths. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall turn to fables. That's fiction. People are listening to fiction. I'm all right. They got the Barney, the Barney church, you know. Uh, I loved you, you love me. We're one big dysfunctional family. We, we don't actually believe that there is a heaven and a hell. Uh, you know, the scripture says in Exodus 23, 2, follow not a multitude to do evil. Don't go along with the crowd, go along with the clown. And they shall return, they shall turn their ears away from the truth and shall be turned to faith. Well, watch thou in all things, endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of your ministry. And I would say that now. This is, this is the time to be on high alert. Uh, this is DEFCOM, what is it? I don't know which it is, one or four, the most powerful, spiritually speaking, that this is no time to be playing around. It really isn't. And if, if you think you've been listening to a deceiver, that's the number one sign in Matthew 24. That, that uh, deceivers would come. Let no man deceive you. The scripture said, be not deceived. God's not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption. If you sow to the spirit, you reap life everlasting. So don't let some slick talker talk you into putting your Bible down, dressing a certain way, getting a haircut, and trying to figure it out from there. Give your heart to Jesus and become maniacal in the spirit. Become, become something that people are astounded by. They feel the love of God, but they, they, they're, they're not sure uh, where you came from. But you can tell them all about it. And so I uh, thank you for listening, and I'll catch up with you next time. Be ye therefore ready.